It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer. On today's program, an update from Midwest Dairy and uh, the Research and Innovations Manager, Sydney Hare, joins us. Sydney, thanks for joining uh, uh, us here and uh, talking a little bit about some of the things that you're overseeing, and that includes an incubator program. Let's start there. I, I know we've talked about this in the past, but it has been a while. Remind us, what is the incubator program at Midwest Dairy? Yeah, thanks, Chad, for having me today. Um, so the incubator program uh, has been within Midwest Dairy for the past couple years. It was here before I started in the beginning of 2023. Um, it's It falls under our research key strategy. Um, so Midwest Dairy funds this research with these young food and beverage entrepreneurs um, to try to solve industry challenges and partner with those who drive demand for dairy Um, So this has included developing and expanding the pitch pitch competition in two of our Midwest states. Um, These pitch competitions are a testament to our commitment to fostering innovation and allows Midwest Dairy and our partners to to discover and support uh, food and beverage entrepreneurs. So um, we've partnered with the Hatchery in Chicago for three years now. And then this year, we have decided to expand and partner with No More Empty Pots in Omaha, Nebraska. So uh, we hosted the Hatchery Pitch Contest in the end of May this year. And then we had our pitch contest in Omaha, Nebraska in June this year. All right. Well, let's highlight those winners. Uh, You know, after the pitch contest and after uh, everything was said and done, who who were the winners here in uh, 2024? So in uh, Nebraska, no more empty pots. It was Dundee Popcorn and Coffee Alley, um, and then at no more or at uh, the Hatchery in Chicago, it was Krafian, uh Artisanal tof- Toffee, um, Community Creamery, and Esculent Eats. So the Toffee winner was our first place winner, and then we had two runners up in. Um, Chicago Community Creamery and Esculent Eats. All right. Could we go back to the one for uh, Omaha, No More Empty Pots? Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about those businesses. Uh, who are they? What do they do? Yep. Yep. So we um, essentially just picked two runner up or two winners. Um, they received the same prize. Um, so Dundee Popcorn is a gourmet microwave popcorn business that sells primarily to the Omaha farmers market. Um, they utilize real butter and sell four flavors. Salty, spicy, cinnamon, and kettle popcorn. And then Coffee Alley is a Latina-owned business uh, offering trendy and traditional drinks. Um, its menu features cafe beverages such as unique Mexican with a unique Mexican twist to their coffees. Um, and then they also offer traditional Mexican baked goods. Okay, so with the the prize that they won, and this would be for either contest, the one in Chicago or the one in Omaha, yep. what, what mm-hmm. do you expect that money to be used for? How, do, how does this help these businesses? So they get a set dollar amount from Midwest Dairy. Um, it can be used for a variety of things. Majority of it, I believe, is used towards marketing their program and helping um, boost their product out onto the market. Um, one thing we look for is, with these businesses is to make sure they have a solid foundation. Um, so we have something to work off of. So those marketing dollars that they take from Midwest Dairy helps boost them even further out into the market. All right. Very good. So we've kind of summarized uh, what happened here in 2024. Is this program going to continue into next year? So um, we're really excited to launch the 2025 contest. However, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, We want to try to reach all of our entrepreneurs on a regional level level, um, within the Midwest Series 10 states. So we're actually going to be partnering with a new company uh, to reach, to target all of the entrepreneurs versus just Omaha and just Chicago. It'll obviously still be open to these entrepreneurs in these areas, but we also want to try and still include no more empty pots and the hatchery in this new 
pitch. Uh, so more to come on it. We're really excited about it, but we're mostly excited to reach all of our entrepreneurs utilizing dairy in their food and beverage um, products. Yep. All right. So, and, and then just as we kind of wrap up again, kind of making this connection to dairy farmers, why is yep. this something that Midwest Dairy spends time and effort in doing? So we want farmers to see where their dollars are going when they pay into checkoff. And we believe it's important that we're utilizing them in unique ways, uh, utilizing as much dairy in, in these food, food and beverage products as we can. So we want to showcase them to our farmers. Um, this year, we are actually showcasing majority of these winners from these pitch contests um, at our fall division meetings to our farmers and letting them sample these products. Uh, and giving the story behind them because we do, we like to find new innovative ways to utilize dairy. And we believe this is the next big thing. All right. Very good. Good to have you on. Thanks for telling us about it again here today. Sydney Hare is a research and innovations manager with Midwest Dairy. Again, telling us a little bit about the pitch contest for this year, plans for next year as well. That is Nebraska. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. Chad Moyer reporting.